Chit comes in two versions, the web-based interface as well as the, the tablet-based interface. Both are identical in every way. So today I'll be showing you the web-based interface. The only difference here is that you will be required to start a new account and then sign in using the account credentials. So to do that, you would simply click on the underscored text start a new account and then an email will be sent to you with the login credentials. You can turn back to the screen and click on the sign in and then enter in your credentials. Agree to the terms of the license and then you're asked to name your home. I'm going to leave it the way it is. It's called my home. From there, you can now select the rooms that exist in your home. Essentially, you're defining your home. How many kitchens you have, how many bedrooms, bathrooms, do you have a utility room? When you've defined your home, it creates for each of these rooms appliances generic in nature so that you can then refine those further with your actual appliances if you so choose. So I'm okay with the way this is configured, I'm now going to go ahead and create rooms for my home. So here we are. For each type of room I've chosen, it's given me an icon representing that kind of room, as well as the label underneath it. Now, on this screen, I'm able to change the name of my home by simply clicking on the title of my home. So it says my home, and I'm going to call it now my house. And you see it changes. I can change the labels of each room as well. So for instance, I can click on kitchen one and change that to say just kitchen. You can call this Joey's room, upstairs kitchen, downstairs kitchen, or whatever. Underneath that, you'll notice percentages are in red and in blue. The red percentages represent the three of the largest consumers of electricity in your home. In this case, the kitchen represents 30.99% of the home usage. So I can click on that 30.99%, which reveals to me the cost per day, the cost per month, and the cost per year. The next thing I can do is I can look to see what kind of content there is in my kitchen. What kind of appliances are there? Simply click on the icon that represents the kitchen. And there's a list of all the items I can find in my kitchen. <clears throat> you can then view a graph of this by clicking on the top left hand corner graph icon. And there you are, your kitchen's yearly cost, represented in graph format, with the largest consumer being my refrigerator. On the right-hand side, I can see the yearly cost of 14 rooms of my home, and the largest consumer is, again, my kitchen. I can add content to my room by simply pressing on the green plus symbol in the top right hand corner. So let's do that. I'm going to add a kitchen aid. You can get all the kitchen aid elements in here, uh, but I'm going to be more specific. I'm going to say it's a kitchen aid 36 inch smooth top. So just give me KitchenAid's 36 inch. And there we are. You can enter in just your appliance, your model number, and that will find any model you may have. But in this case, it also shows you, of course, your wattage for each of the items it finds. I'm going to go ahead and choose the top first one. This gets added to my room in the kitchen, and you'll see the cooktop up here, 630 watts. The used per day, hours per day is required represented as well as the cost per day. You can change anything here you'd like. 
by simply clicking in the box of your choice, changing its content. Once you've changed it, simply click anywhere on the screen within this box and it'll change it for you. So for instance, I can say 36.5 if I felt that that was necessary. And then clicking anywhere on the screen, it simply saves it. There is no save button as it saves it automatically. Now, to delete this content from the room, so you can delete as many things as you want at one time, simply select next to the item you want to delete, the check mark appears, and then simply select the red icon, the red X icon, which will then warn you that you're about to delete one item from the kitchen. So you say okay, and the tops are now gone. You can click on the done when you're done. Now, you'll notice in that same room here, you will see the total cost per year, total cost per month, and the total cost per day. Let's close the screen off. Now, if I want to add a new room, I simply click on the plus symbol. I'm displayed options as to what I can add, including a custom feature. But let's go ahead and add a utility room, another one. And I'm going to call this the new utility. And there it is, the new utility room. If I were to select that, I would get a list of what's in the new utility room. To delete that room, I click on the X symbol on the screen which reveals X's next to each of the rooms. So you select the room you want to delete, in this case, the new utility room. It warns you you're about to delete that room. You say, okay, and it's gone. Then to get rid of these X, you just simply click on the X on the screen again. Now the view details for this particular room is the same as selecting the actual room. So if I clicked on the finished basement, for instance, it's going to give me a list of the finished basement. If I'm in this screen, I can also click on view details from here and it'll do the exact same thing. Notice again, you see the cost of $20.35, the number of items in that room, and how much energy that room used in comparison to the whole house. On the same screen, I have the ability to change the image that I'm looking at for each room. So you can take a picture of the room, for instance. So click on this, these mountain images, it reveals a standard list of images you can choose from by simply selecting it, and it'll then populate it here. Or you can drag and drop an image that you have taken into this white image in order to add your own image of your room. So if I were to select this image, for instance, it's going to populate it here. I then say apply new image, and that changes the image of my room. I'm going to say cancel here. The other options available to you here are that you can view a home graph. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the home view, which gives me a list of the smallest to largest consumers of electricity in the home. It's graphically pleasing and easy to determine which of the items, which of the rooms actually consume the most. I can view it by dollars or percentages. Click on done in order to leave. Next we have is energy tips. Energy tips gives you the ability to see how you can save more money either at no cost or at a cost. So in this case, you'll see on the right hand side, there are free items and then there are those which are not free. I'm gonna choose the last one, which represents $25. And it basically tells me that 25% of my home's heat is lost through windows. Wrapping your windows with plastic is a low cost option to replacement that can reduce this loss by 50%. So will I be able to save $25 in electricity costs? 
by spending $25? In this case, it clearly says that I would. So it's your choice as to how much you can afford to spend in order to save money. But the tips is extensive. It is the world's largest tips database and one that will allow you to uh, save more money. The next is the energy calculator. So imagine being in a store, you come across an appliance, you want to see how much that appliance is going to cost you to run. So in this case, I've got uh, a thousand watts and I'm going to say the appliance, I'm going to buy two of these things. They're used about four hours a day and I click on the calculator. Well, that's going to cost me about $435 a year. So you may want to consider whether you want to purchase that item or compare it to other items for its efficiency. The user settings allows you to define the electricity rate. So the cost per kilowatt hour is critical to determine your overall cost of your home. So to determine that, you have two methods. One, you can just enter in a number that your provider has told you. For instance, in this case, 0.149 represents 14.9 cents. Or you can do it in a calculated way where you enter from your electricity bill the total dollar amount you have paid to your company this month. And then, and that includes taxes, and then how many kilowatts you've consumed during that same billing period. So in this case, 1,200 kilowatts. I would then click on the update, which would then show me that my cost per kilowatt hour is, and that's used throughout the entire system. So it's critical to get done correctly. The next thing I can do is click on the reset button, which gives me a chance then to reset the entire system. This will erase everything and bring you back to your home view so you can define the kind of home you have. And finally, we have the Quick Help. Quick Help gives you an indicator as to what each screen will do for you in terms of some of its functionality. Clicking on it again, hides it. So I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration of Watch It. It's a powerful application. It's the first of its type. It attempts to help you to save electricity through providing knowledge, knowledge as to how much each and every appliance costs. And again, you can refine each of these rooms to include your particular appliances, whether the appliances in our extensively world's largest database, or if you found something unique that you want to add, you can add your own custom appliance in here and therefore know how much you can save through reduction of its usage or through replacement of some items which are now much older. Thank you for watching.